What's the taste like? I'll have to find these rotten king yolks. They're an old tail. Did you know that king crisps and tail crisps are owned by the same company? Ah, what? And they're made in the same place. Oh, what the Jesus? Don't take it too hard. It's just flavoured spuds like. I was pretty much raised on loving Tato and hating Kings. Now you're just telling me my whole life's a lie. Fuck this. I'm gone. We only have 43 minutes, so stop taking the piss. Ah, yeah. I'm only messing. But, like, I did have them pretty much every single day, for as far back as I can remember, anyway. When me and my brother would get back from school, he'd make us Tato sandwiches, and we'd have a big mug of TK lemonade. I remember this one day. I was only, like, six or something. I'd just taken the first big bite out of my sandwich and skin started bursting his whole laughing. I asked him, what are you laughing at? And him giggling away, he held up an empty packet of King's Crisp and pointed at my sandwich. I was fuming. Skin started dancing around me singing, you're a Brit, 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 you're a Brit. I was bullying. I spat the food out and started scraping as much as I could off my tongue. Like I was in a bleeding cartoon or something. Then I started chasing skins around the gaff, roaring at him while he was laughing the whole time. He used to be so angry, I actually threw up all over the stairs. Yeah, I mean, he sounds great, but look, we only have 43 minutes. Jesus. Where the camera was. Right? The way he went was fucked, though. Yeah. So fucked. Like... Stop me if I'm crossing the line, but Richard knew your brother's history with addiction. He wasn't a junkie. I'm not saying he was, but he'd be taking stuff pretty much every day, right? Yeah, but like, he didn't need to. I understand that, but he wasn't sober for a long while, right? Yeah. So, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. When he came to after the first time, I was there when he woke up. He looked over to me and just said, Do you know what, Bowser? I'd love a potato sandwich and PK lemonade. Well, at least he had his priorities right. But you do hear what I'm saying, Harry. Richard knew what he was at. He knew this would push your brother over the edge. Yeah, I know. And if you want to do something about it, I've got your back. I've got, a cous I've got a couple of cousins who can help too. I can add them to the call if you want. But why though? Like, what's in it for you guys? Richard's dad, Edward, was no friend of our family's. Him and my dad were doing a job up this neck of the woods when it went tits up. The thing they were working on caught fire and blew up. My dad lost a leg and what did Edward do? Ran. He fucking ran and left my dad on a silver platter for the cops. He's been inside ever since. Fucking hell. Yeah. If the cops didn't find him, he'd probably be dead. And Dad's that type of old school hard bastard who'd rather die for the cause than be locked up. And I've got my cousin's numbers if you want me to add them to the call. Oh, I sure see, they're not as bad as Tato. Ah, like I wouldn't go that far now. There's not much difference. Yeah, well, there's enough. It's like me and you, yeah. You could get stuck in the nitty gritty, but big picture, we're all the same. Ah, yeah, but you guys talk funny. <laughs> You're the funny sound ones. Get her up out of that, you mad yoke. Oh, would you fuck off with that accent? You're going to break the call. Seriously though, we're not a million miles away from each other. We're only up the road. It is still a different country though. It wasn't always. But it has been for like our whole lifetime. Our lives aren't over yet. 